Over the last six months, I have quietly launched my new course called the Practical User Research and Strategy Masterclass. But before we talk about what's in it, let me set the stage for you. It's a fact that most UX designers struggle in the industry. They feel unheard, their ideas are shut down, and they feel like they are just treading water. And here's why. Generally, UX designers spend most of their time in a design tool like Figma, which means that they get really good at using Figma, but if you zoom out from a project, you realize UI design in a design tool is just one piece of the puzzle. In most cases, when UX designers get pushback or they have their ideas shut down or they feel unheard, it's not because they don't know how to use Figma. It's generally around you are not solving the right problem, your design decisions seem gut driven, and your ideas and strategies don't seem well thought out or compelling enough. How do I know this? Because I've been there before, just like every other designer, but I've been lucky and determined enough to have figured out what I was missing and then I worked towards building the skills that has allowed me to succeed as a product UX designer, run a $6 million UX agency, and even become an investor and advisor for tech startups. So how do we go from feeling defeated to building trust with key stakeholders, building more confidence and becoming more strategic as a product UX designer? Now the answer is this. Instead of just focusing on pushing pixels in Figma for the rest of your life, you're going to learn a new set of skills. You're going to learn how to pinpoint users' needs, preferences, and motivations. You're also going to learn how to truly align with business objectives and priorities. You will also adopt a more data-driven approach to your projects. You will also leverage user interviews and research tactics to form real strategies to back your claims and you will stay at the forefront of your team by learning how to adopt a business mindset as a designer, which ultimately means you will be able to have stronger and more aligned conversations with stakeholders, which leads to an accelerated career growth by becoming a well-rounded product and UX designer. So with that said, let's dive into this curriculum and let me show you step-by-step step on how we will help you achieve from going feeling defeated to becoming a powerful UX designer. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's actually in this course. So once you've gone ahead and click that link in the video description, you will land on our landing page. Now this landing page has all the information that you need to understand what's in the course and how it's structured. But one notable thing is if you go all the way down to the review section, our student, Alyssa, she recently landed a full-time role with Booking.com, one of the world's largest accommodation booking platforms. She's a senior UX designer there where she's doing research and also UI design. I'm extremely excited about the results that we're able to help our students achieve. You can learn all about that in the review section. So if you do purchase the course, you will land into the curriculum. And as you can see over here, this course is broken up into nine different modules. So the way that we've gone ahead and designed this course is with module one, it is all about helping you get set up. Now, every module and every lesson has a corresponding Figma file or page. So as you can see in module one, it is all about getting you started, downloading files, updating your LinkedIn, joining our community and creating your accounts and also setting your learning goals. So over here in Figma, you can see that we have a module one file with five different lessons. And as you can see with the welcome page, updating your LinkedIn, we've got some templates to help you get started. We instruct you to join our community. You can create your accounts. And then you've also got a learning goal template that I've created to help you plan out how you might want to complete this course. Then in module two, you can see that this is where I give you a high level overview of what the course will be about. We talk about the double diamond process and I actually walk you through a real case study of AutoTrader, which is a platform that I led the product and design for, which ultimately got acquired by eBay shortly after. So I'll walk you through that entire uh, case study in detail. Now, as you can see in module two in the Figma files, because there are no practical uh, challenges or activities, I do have a corresponding file or page over here where you can take notes. So I encourage students to follow along and keep all their notes in one place in, uh, within each file. So you don't have notes scattered in different notebooks and whatnot. You can keep it all in one place. Then in module three, 
This is where all the practical begins. Like I mentioned before, the way that I have designed this user research and practical strategy masterclass is that I want to walk you through every little detail, every little decision that I would make in a real world project so you truly understand how to become more strategic and how to actually run research and how to gather data for all your projects. So as you can see in module three, we actually go ahead and start with understanding how do you actually start a project without jumping straight into designs. So as you can see in lesson one, it says start with problems and not ideas. And this whole practical project that you will be working on revolves around the idea that a stakeholder has come up to you and said, we want to launch a marketplace to help couples book the perfect accommodation. And without jumping straight into designs, I actually walk you through step by step on how to strategize with your stakeholders. So as you can see in the corresponding Figma file in module three, you can see that I've gone ahead and crafted these very specific challenges with a client idea that we want to launch a marketplace to help people find and book the perfect accommodation. This is the entire project that we'll be working around, but without a brief. So I'm actually going to teach you the skills of how to think strategically and how do you communicate with your stakeholders to form a strategy. So as you can see, we start to talk about what problem are we actually trying to solve? So I teach you how to reframe ideas into problems. We start to define problem statements to align all your stakeholders together. We form a hypothesized customer journey to help you plan ahead, to help you have an idea of how do you form a strategy around user research. So all these different questions and all these little activities that I'm putting together is a sequential way of completing an entire project. So as you go through the, the entire module three, we are doing all these activities together and they are all interconnected with one another. As you can see over on module three from lessons eight to 12, you can see that in the Figma file, we also have lesson eight to 12. And once we've gone ahead and formed the interview strategy or the research strategy, I then walk you through step-by-step step on how do you actually form interview questions. And believe me, by the end of this, you would truly understand how do you actually work with stakeholders? How do you take an idea, reframe it into a problem, form a strategy around it, and form all the little details that are actually required for you to run user interviews or run research for a project. So we do that all together, step by step, decision by decision. You see me do it, you'll follow along, and you'll have all the resources that you need to complete these uh, projects. So by the end of module three, you will have formed your strategy for the project. You will have formed all the questions required. And as you can see in module four, this is the second part, the part two, of primary research. So before you start interviewing, before you start gathering further data, you have to learn how to finalize that strategy. So in module four, we'll talk about how do you find the participants that you want to interview? How do you even form the strategy around how many people you might want to interview? And as you can see, we talk about sample sizing, batching participants, defining selection criteria, which is around how do you know who you should be talking to and who are going to be the most effective people that you gather insights from. Where to find participants, automating your onboarding process, which is something that's really important in research because you don't want to be manually organizing all the schedules. I will be showing you my little trick around automating that entire process, onboarding people with Google Forms, teaching you how to take notes more effectively, and all the way at the end, you will get access to a real user interview breakdown. So over here, you can see that I actually have a, I believe like a 40 minute interview with a real user participant. It's an end-to-end -end recording. And I also provide all the little tips and tricks and insights that you might not notice. And I've documented throughout all the videos. So you can actually learn how to run a real user interview. Now, once you've gone ahead and you've completed the research strategy, you've got all the interview questions that you need. You feel confident in running user interviews we then go into module five, and this is where you actually execute all the research on your own. But we've got ahead and actually created all the challenges that you need. So as you can see in module five, we have the challenge and we've got some resources for you. So if you want to go out, uh, reach out to people, we've got templates of things that you just copy and paste and send to people 
Um, so you don't have to come up with all the messages yourself and you have a set of questions and activities that you need to complete on your own. Now, once you've found all the participants that you want to actually interview to gather data from, you then go and interview them. So by the end of that session, you will have something very similar to what I have done, which is you'll have all the questions that you want to answer with all the actual insights from the participants that you've interviewed. So by the end of it, you'll have everything that you need to run successful user interviews. So if you go back to the curriculum, you can see once you've gone ahead and gathered all the insights from your interviews, we then go into secondary research. So module six is around secondary research, which is another way of saying, summarizing all the data that you have gathered. So as you can see in module six, we take all those insights that you have gathered from your Google Sheet, we'll actually go ahead and pop them into Figma, into Post-it Notes. And if I zoom out, you can see that I walk you through step-by-step step of how do you turn all those insights that you've taken from your Google Sheet and from the interview recordings, and then you'll pop it over into a framework that I have created over in FigJam, and you will step-by-step step synthesize all that research alongside me. So you'll truly learn how to take research and turn it into practical and actionable items or activities or features or ideas for a project. So if we go back to the curriculum, you can see we take all those insights, we learn how to create personas, we learn how to form insights, we learn how to form themes, we actually learn how to form recommendations based on everything that we have discovered. And then we also go and learn how to take all those insights and actually map out a customer journey map. So if I want to show you an example, we can see that if we go down into some of these sections in the customer journey map, you'll learn how to plot everything into a customer journey map. You'll also learn how to run a competitor analysis just like this one. So you will assess what competitors are doing, learn how to find really useful insights that you can utilize in your own project. And by the end of that, you should be able to create and finalize your very own foundational report. As you can see over here, this report will include everything that you've discovered in your research. You've been able to form a plan, a strategy, and all the valuable insights that you think your stakeholders will appreciate or value. You present it all in one template and you'll have access to this template and all you need to do is pop in all your information. Now that just covers all the research aspect of the course. Within this course, I will also be sprinkling in a lot of strategic insights, teaching you all the different workflows and templates that I use to help me work with stakeholders, learning how to prioritize different ideas, learning how to actually take research and finalize them into job stories and user stories, and there is so much more. So hopefully this video gives you a better insight into what's actually included in this course and how I take you from start all the way to the end. So if you are interested, make sure to check the link in the description. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below or drop us an email. I'll be sure to get back to you. And with that said, I hopefully will see you on the other side very soon.